don't talk to me. I am not in a mood for talking. Don't look. Me. <laughs> we could cross our legs. <laughs> this looks so dumb. Wait, yeah. There you go, Maze. We're good. Ah, I always start and then I'm like, wait, crap, blanking on the date. It's December 5th and I am going to be doing a full day of eating today. So, oh my gosh, someone's walking by. This is so awkward. He's totally staring at me. I was going to do Vlogmas and you guys, I'm so sorry, but I can't commit to doing vlogs every single day. Like, I just can't. I'm graduating college really soon here. I have to get final projects done, exams. I'm just I'm just very busy with that and so and I also need to make sure I'm taking time for myself. Honestly, the thought of oh I have to vlog every single day is kind of stressing me out a little bit, which isn't helping. I still am gonna post a lot more than normal or upload a lot more than normal this month. I wanna do kind of like a a season or episodes of how to survive the holidays in eating disorder recovery. So I'm still gonna post videos several times a week and it's they're all gonna be episodes in the how to survive the holidays in recovery. So that is kind of the new plan. I hope you guys are okay with that. That's really all I can commit to. I'm about to go into work. I did eat breakfast this morning and I will show you guys a clip of that. breakfast um these cars i'm so embarrassed Stop. trying oatmeal again for the first time in like a long time like i've been avoiding oats just because they make me so bloated we'll see how that goes with my digestion later so anyway they were yummy i had banana cashews and i made a chocolate by adding the chocolate almond milk so anyway i'm about to be late gotta go bye i'm gonna be bringing two things in for my snack a pack of these soft baked snickerdoodles from enjoy life and i'm also gonna bring in a baked berry natural delight naked bar I finished work well, i didn't just finish work. i finished work and then i drove home <sighs> y'all seem to like it when i'm real with you guys and honest about how i'm feeling so it's about to get real oh oh my gosh i'm struggling so much with digestion still i'm sorry to say that i'm still not over this really haven't gone to the bathroom in like four days and it's kind of freaking me out like does anyone else get this where you're like oh my gosh if I don't go then all this food is just sitting in there and I know it's a mental thing and I know it's I need to eat regardless and I am but uh, it's like four days worth of food is just sitting there and no it's not true but that's what I'm like battling with in my mind right now and it's like you have to go, you can't, you don't deserve to eat until you've gotten rid of, you know, the other crap that's in there. It's just part of recovery and I need to learn to digest foods again and my body's trying to adjust to the increase, but gosh, it's hard. So I would share that with you guys. If anyone else struggles with this, know that you're not alone. I'm really struggling with that and the thoughts of not wanting to eat because I'm so constipated. That was a little bit of real talk, so I'm home now and this I gotta go eat. So I oh, it might be burning the toast. Is our toaster broken? I don't know. Like for real. No, oh, it's plugged in. We're trying again. So for lunch, I'm gonna be having toast, two pieces, one with turkey and cheese and mayonnaise, and then the other one with cashew butter with protein and jelly and pretzels. Hi, mommy wants to I'm say here. hi. Hi, mommy. Hi. Kissing. Okay, bye. Bye. Here's my two pieces of toast. There it is. Before we say goodbye, though, mommy has to show us her, her daily spinach. Spinach is wonderful for your brain, and I don't know what else, so enjoy. Everything. I didn't know. Our neighbor came to the door, and I was like, there's a little old lady with glasses. Apparently, it was our neighbor. I don't know anything. <laughs> Maisie is our ferocious guard dog trying to protect us. Good job, Maze. Cashew butter. I put the um, jelly on the bottom hoping it would like melt it. It didn't really.
tongue lead. Add some cranberry juice. It's studying because I have a final tomorrow and I have to maintain all A's this semester for me to get magna cum laude. La 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 da. Eating um, a Lenny's and Larry's cookie. It's the, the pumpkin spice. I'm not the hugest fan. I did buy a 12 pack so I have to finish them. Meh. That's okay. I'm gonna get back to this and I'll see you guys. We're gonna do a Q&A here shortly. I'm excited for that one. I'll see you guys. Just getting ready to film, but I did finish my this drink. It's the vanilla one. I don't really like the vanilla, but it's all I had in. Gotta do what you gotta do. It's not always fun. And then I actually just made myself some coffee. I'm gonna have some coffee and talk with you guys and answer some questions. Do a little Q and A. Um, I did send out a message a little bit ago said, ask me questions not eating disorder related because um, I haven't really talked about myself that much and I wanted to see if you guys were interested in getting to know me, kind of just who I am. I got lots of questions and I'm gonna answer them and yeah, we'll see how this goes. One of the questions actually was, what do you film on? And um, I film on my iPhone 7 Plus because I am a poor broke college student and I have no money to buy an $800 camera. I'd love to get a camera in the future, but I don't have the money for that right now, so I use my iPhone. That's why my quality sucks. I'm using my sister's little tiny dinky phone. I don't even know what this is. I guess it's a five and answer them that way. Okay, all right. First one, favorite color, blue. I'm so lame, I know, I'm sorry. It's blue. Can't go wrong with blue. Favorite Bible verses, um, Philippians 3, 12 through 14, 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20, 1 Corinthians 10.13, 1 Corinthians 10.31, Romans 6, all of it. So go look those up. What are you majoring in in college? What type of career field are you leaning towards? So I am majoring in kinesiology, which is exercise science, a minor whew, in health promotion. So what am I gonna do after college, career, job, that, since I'm graduating in 11 days? Um, I am gonna graduate with my kinesiology degree. I have a good job right now at a rec center, so I'm going to continue with that um, and take some time to really continue my recovery. I'm gonna finish getting weight restored. School is gone and not a stressor. Hopefully the weight will come on faster, but I'll take some time really to myself to just focus on myself, my health, recovery, my spiritual life, my friends, family, that. So I'm really looking forward to just taking some time and then possibly go back to school in the fall, in the spring, I'm not totally sure. I'm still praying about it, still trying to figure out what I want to do. But I would like to do something along the lines of sports psychology. Get it locked. Humma, 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 humma. Oy, 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 series and movie recommendations. Um, favorite TV series on Netflix? I'm going to be that girl. I'm sorry. Grey's Anatomy. Love Grey's Anatomy. One Tree Hill. Sherlock Holmes, that series. I like British series because obviously you guys know I like British food and culture. Riverdale, I'm waiting for the second one to come out on Netflix. Favorite movies? I don't, I don't really watch movies that much. I need to. So like, y'all let me know what I should watch favorite movie wise because I just don't watch movies. I literally do school, go to work, eat, and watch Netflix. This Is Us is a good TV so, series which I love. And there's another one that I, sorry, I'll get back to you if it comes back to me. If you could be any character, Disney, princess, anime character, etc., who would you be and why? Wow. Mulan, because she's freaking awesome. And she can do like karate and she's awesome. It'd be Mulan. Another one said, what are you planning on doing after you graduate? Which I did answer, but then she said, are you scared though? No, I'm really excited to graduate and just get on with my life. What was my favorite class in college? Um, honestly, sports psych was fun, and psychology was fun, and sociology was fun, because honestly, they're just like, my professors were like super weird, and it was really interesting, and I don't know, I really enjoy psychology. Least favorite class? Probably Spanish. Ugh. Exercise physiology was the hardest class I have like, mm. I mean, it was, ex it was interesting, but it was hard. Oof. Your life goal completely recover from this eating disorder and be able to help others that struggle with it as well and give them hope and give back the way that people are giving to me. I want to help others that way as well um, and spread the gospel of Christ as well and live a life that glorifies him. So that's my life goal. Oh, um, love experiences. 
Yeah, I really don't have any. I briefly dated a guy a while ago for like three dates. I freaked my parents out, so that didn't last long. Um, I mean, yeah, I've had crushes and stuff, but I will say though, when you have an eating disorder, it definitely affects your love relationships and relationships with people in general, especially boys and physiologically, phys physio it mentally affects you and it affects your sex drive. So literally the desire to do that is just gone down. Get better and then get a relationship. One of the motivations. Do you play or have you done any sports? Yes. I was a huge soccer person. I started playing soccer when I was four and then I played all the way until I guess I was like 12 and then I was I went select for like one year and then it got crazy because we had you know five other kids to do sports and stuff and didn't want to be selfish so I backed away from that but I love soccer. I've also played volleyball, softball, did gymnastics, did ballet. I'm still currently kind of going on and off with like co-ed volleyball every once in a while with our church and sometimes subbing for soccer, I haven't done that in a while, but that's something that's kind of ongoing. When did you get your driver's license? When I was 16. Not on like my birthday, but I was 16 years old. I also got my coffee, it wasn't ready yet, and now it's ready. And I put, I actually put um, more chocolate almond milk in there and a packet of hot chocolate because I wanted a mocha. Jessica, come here. Who's your celebrity crush? Um, Jeremy Jordan. Who is that? <laughs> he plays the main character in Newsies. Like as you just literally liked him because Emily just showed you that show. But it was a really good show. Okay, besides him, someone that I would know. Uh, anyone from the Marvel movies? He like loves them? all the oh, DC oh, Marvel. Oh, no, I know, I know who it is. Orlando Bloom. Oh. From Pirates of the Caribbean. He's old. I don't care. Okay. Do I like anybody? I don't like anybody. What? Carol and Orlando Bloom, lame. Jessica already took that one. Yes, Chris Hemsworth is cool. Benedict Cumberbatch, and he's British, so that's all good. Oh, I love British men. Ugh. Harry Styles is good too. Harry Styles is, ew, no. Patrick Dempsey from Grey's Anatomy. I said that first. Oh, no, no, it's Carolyn's. Oh, that's mine. Carolyn's, that's, that's, that's probably up on the list of people that. I agree with that one. He is beautiful. Ah, Channing Tatum, that's what I was trying to, yeah, I like Channing Tatum. What do I want to be when I'm older? You're being loud, that's fine. That, but I do want to be a mom someday. If you like reading, what's your favorite book? Okay, I used to read a whole lot, and now I don't. Divergent. Divergent, and then Insurgent, and then Allegiant. The Hunger Games, that was good too. Mm -hmm. Which siblings do you get along with best? <laughs> they just went up there, that's funny. Emily and I were very close. Um, before all of this, during this, she's been a great supporter, helper. She was probably the one I was closest to, but then she also went out to Lubbock, so I don't, she's not here anymore. With Emily, she was like totally the opposite of my personality, so like, I'm like type A person, very like, I'm gonna, it's my way or the highway, I'm always right, I'm very like passionate, I get things done, I'm go, go, go. And she's like not, she's like laid back, she's chill, just take things as they go, things like that, so. We kind of meshed well, you know what I'm saying? We meshed as Carolyn is just like me. <laughs> Clash a lot. Um, but we, I mean, so it's good and bad. Since we're so similar, we do relate to a lot of things. Clash a lot, but we're getting better. Jen, what is your dream vacation? Switzerland or... What's the other one? New Zealand. I don't know, somewhere like far away. I really would love to travel. That would be amazing. What are you hoping to get for Christmas? Okay, so like I wanted a camera to do YouTube videos with, but it's like too expensive apparently, so I can't get one. So I don't know what I want anymore. Give me some ideas. Hmm. Favorite YouTubers? Jen Brett, I don't even, is her name Jen Brett or Bretty? She's awesome, I love her, she's so motivating. Go watch all of her videos, they really helped me. Also follow Whitney Simmons. He Black Cadet, I don't know how to say her last name. And, um, Busy B Carries, and also Christy uh, Unger. Pros and cons of having a big family. Big family. She says it's fun to have a big family. This, this is, is Carolyn, the one that's like me that we clash heads a lot. Like, yeah, just like that, anyway. Um, I think it's more fun to have a big family. Um, Cause there's always, especially when we were little, like always someone to play with. And I guess older, especially having sisters. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of times it's, obviously it's hard, kind of like what you said earlier, it's hard to have, you know, sisters and relationships and um, stuff like that, but I don't know, it's just fun, like ha being a sister, it's like having like a best friend, you know, and a sister, yeah. even though like she said, we do fight and we're similar, but I feel like grow up mm -hmm. together and then 
be older siblings and like as we get married and stuff, just like having kids yeah. ourselves. Good. I agree with all that. And we can like share our troubles too and talk about boys and yep, it's exciting. That's pros. Yep. Cons, you have to share stuff and there's favorites. <clears throat> Timmy, it's like we don't have as many things because he, you know, there's six kids, two, like eight people in the family, oh, so she has one. We can never agree on anything. Oh. So like if we're going out to eat oh, yeah. or we're watching a movie, but we would never agree on anything because there's six people that have to vote. You know? Seriously, picking movies is like so difficult. We, it still, it still is. Seriously though, the pros outweigh the cons obviously because I mean, we're blessed to have a big family and they're always there for us and it makes things fun. Weirdest skill. I just asked Carolyn, she was like, touching your tongue to your nose. I, I don't think I can. She can do that. Mm, ow, my mouth hurts. Weird skill, weird skill, weird skill. I'm still thinking about the weird skill. What is your favorite food, slash biggest fear of food, slash favorite meal? Donuts, soft pretzels, nuts, yeah. I don't eat donuts hardly ever because they're a fear food. And they have soft pretzels, like the big ones dipped in like melted cheese, like Auntie Anne's pretzel. Ugh, my favorite. So, and those maybe aren't even a fear food, but like they, we just don't have one near us. Like I'd have to drive like 30 minutes to go get one. Pizza's also a fear food, but I don't even like it that much to where it's like my favorite food. Favorite meal would definitely be breakfast, French toast, pancakes, waffles, all those things are like my favorite type type of food. Um, I'm still thinking about the skill. I really have no skills apparently, or no weird skills. Nope, nothing is coming to mind. I'm double jointed in my elbow and my thumb. That's about it. And I can't touch my tongue to my nose. I can't, I can't have my, I can't fold my tongue like some people can do. Thank you guys for all your questions. That was fun. I'm sorry if I missed them. I hope that was fun and you guys learned a little bit more about me and my family. And yeah, I'll see you guys at dinner or something. Well, and I got a question. Um, and I've already like, you know, done the Q&A, but I wanted to answer this. What's your favorite store to shop at? Trader Joe's and Sprouts are my favorites. Love them, hands down, favorite. So if you guys watched my last video, you'll see that I, I made couscous and they looked like baby larva eggs. This time it looks so much better because I did it on the stove. Actually, they still kind of look like eggs, but anyway, it's so much better, fluffier, um, thicker, yeah. Hey guys, so I'm just eating again. I'm gonna be kind of quiet because my dad's asleep on the couch. And yes, I showered, it took off my makeup, and so I'm sorry. I look um, I'm gonna be eating probably most of this pint of cashew um, ice cream. And I'm also gonna be having just this entire bag of random cereals thrown together. So I'm going to eat that and try this ice cream. Mm. I'm breaking out because I'm stressed about finals. And real quick, I actually did just add some of this wonderfulness. I just poured it on top of the ice cream and it's hardening like a magic shell. So, yum. It itches, I've been like itching my face. So it's red, ignore my face. I'm going to end the vlog here tonight, guys. Um, I'm exhausted, tired, and I need to study more. So I didn't get the last few things I ate on camera because I'm just, just tired of taking it down and videoing everything I was eating. Literally three more bowls of cereal, crackers, I was just hungry. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Um, sorry I didn't get it on camera, I guess, but I mean, I ate it, so whatever. I keep forgetting to say, but I do have an Instagram, so I will put that in the description box. So go ahead and if you want to, follow me there for daily posts and such and motivation. And subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys soon. I'm seriously the most awkward person ever to end a vlog. I don't know how to do it. Like, I just go on and on about subscribing and Instagram and I don't even know. I'm sorry. It's like, how do you, how are you even supposed to end a vlog? Like, it's just like, oh, it's over. Okay.